Welcome back children to chapter 6, part 1, population. India is the second largest country in the world after China. Population is an important chapter of social science because people are important to develop the economy and society. In this chapter, we will study about the size and distribution of population its density, growth, sex ratio, age composition, literacy rates, and health. Population is an important resource of any country. Now, what do we mean by resource? Resource means human resource. It is the wealth of a country which can be put to proper use for a country's development. Now, the qualitative aspects of a population are important for a nation's economic and social progress. Now, what do we mean by qualitative? The citizens of a country have to be educated. They have to be healthy and skillful or efficient for its rapid development. Human beings are producers and consumers of Earth's resources. Therefore, it is important to know how many people are there in a country, where do they live, how and why their numbers are increasing, and what are their characteristics. The Census of India provides us with the information regarding the population of our country. Now, we are primarily concerned with three major questions about population in this chapter. The first one, Population size and distribution, which means how many people are there and where they are located. Population growth and process of population change, which means how has population grown and changed through time. Third, characteristics or qualities of the population. That means what are their ages, sex, composition, literature, uh, literacy levels, occupational structure, and health conditions. So now let's study and compare the population of India and Brazil. To begin with, we'll study the population of India. Now, on page number 38 of our textbook, they have given two maps. In the first map, they have used the dot method to show population distribution. Now, this population distribution is according to the 2011 census in both the maps. Now, what do we mean by census? Census is nothing but the counting of people or citizens of a country. This is done in our country after every 10 years. The latest census was taken in 2011 and the next census now will be taken in 2021. Okay. In the second map, they have used the choropleth method to show the density of population. Okay. Now, what do we mean by density of population? In simple terms, it means number of people living in one square kilometer. So let us answer the questions given on page number 38 with regards to these two maps. They've asked us name the states with highest population density. So if you see here in the dot method, okay, in the yeah, in the first map, we see the co maximum concentration of population is in the North Indian Plains and South India. Okay, and if you refer here, they have colored it in dark brown, more than 500. Okay, so the states with highest density of population are Punjab, then we have Haryana, then Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, West Bengal, Kerala, and Tamil Nadu. Now they have asked states with lowest population density. Now, if you see this, refer to this map, we'll see here Sikkim, then we have Arunachal Pradesh, we have Mizoram, and we have Andaman and Nicobar Islands. 
But in this map, they have colored Jammu and Kashmir, Haryana, and uh, I'm sorry, Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand as well. But uh, let me tell you, here the population per square kilometer is more than 100. So if we refer to this map, the lowest uh, population density is seen in Sikkim, Arunachal Pradesh. So see, we have another map. This is the map, okay, which shows uh, the lowest density, okay, in uh, less than 100 people per square kilometer is colored in gray. So it's Sikkim, Arunachal Pradesh, Mizoram, Andaman, and Nicobar. Okay, so these, this is the answer. Now the next question here, they have given us a table and we have to answer the questions. Now they've asked us population less than 100. So we've already given the answer. Sikkim, Arunachal Pradesh, Mizoram and Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The second they've asked population uh, density between 101 to 250 per square kilometer. Now, if you refer to this map, 101 to 250, here we have, they have colored in light green. So it's Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh. Then we have Uttarakhand. Then we have Nagaland, Manipur, Meghalaya, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, and Chhattisgarh. Then they have asked population density between 251 to 500 per square kilometer. Now in this map, they have colored it with <coughs> yellow. So to start with, it's Gujarat. Then we have Maharashtra. Then Goa. Then we have Karnatak, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Odisha, Jharkhand, Assam, and Tripura. Then when we go, come to the fourth point, they have asked population density more than 500 per square kilometer. So the states which have population density more than 500 per square kilometer are, okay, we've already seen, it's Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, see it's Punjab, Haryana, then we have Chandigarh, New Delhi, then it's Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, West Bengal, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, it's Lakshwadweep here, Lakshwadweep. Then we have Puducherry, Diu Daman and Dadra Nagar Haveli are the states and the union ter territories which have population more than 100. So we can refer to this map again. Okay, but then here, if you refer to this map, the dot method, you will see the concentration of population is here in Dadra Nagar Haveli, Daman and Diu. Then we have here the union territory, Delhi, and then Chandigarh. Then we have Puducherry here. So we'll have to refer to this and this map and then we get this answer. Now we will compare India and Brazil with respect to their population. Okay. India's population is around 121 crores according to 2011 census, whereas Brazil's population in 19 crores according to 2010 census. India is the second most populous country in the world. Brazil ranks fifth in the world in terms of population. It also stands fifth in the world with respect to area, whereas India stands seventh with respect to area in the world. Now, the percentage of land area of the world occupied Okay, India occupies only 2.41% of the land area of the world, whereas Brazil occupies 5.6% of the land area of the world. 
India supports almost 17.5% of the world's population. Okay, and Brazil supports 2.7% of the world's population. Average population density per square kilometer of India is 382 persons. Okay, the density of population is around 23 persons per square kilometer in Brazil. Now, I'll just show you. Now, if you go to see, I've um, shown here a pie chart. And here we see the percentage of land area of the world occupied by India. So India occupies 2.41% of the total land of the world and Brazil occupies 6%. That is 5.6% of the world's land. So this is the pie chart that I have given, shown. Now, in the second pie chart, I've shown the percentage of the world population in our country. Now, if you see here, India supports 17.5% of the world's population, whereas Brazil supports almost 3% of the world's population. Now, they've asked as a question correlate the climate and physiography of India with its population distribution and they've also asked us to write a note on it now first of all let us try to understand what do we mean by this question now it they it means that what is the effect of climate and physiography of India on population distribution okay and they've asked us to write a note some areas in the country are very densely populated we've already seen in our previous slides and some are thinly populated okay population is thus unevenly distributed because there is lots of diversity in the physical features and climate of different regions of india we've already studied all this in our previous chapters and we need to apply that knowledge over here okay the soil brought by the Himalayan rivers has made the North Indian plains very fertile, except Rajasthan to the west. Okay, this whole region is very suitable for human habitation. Hence, the population is very dense here in the North Indian plains. Thus, areas in the river basins, regions with good climate and good facilities are densely populated. Naturally, if there's a river, there will be human settlement. Then if there are river basins, the soil will be fertile. Because of the fertile soil, there will be agriculture. And because of agriculture, many people uh, will come and settle there. Because of, the, because of agriculture, there will be agro-based industries and there will be other industries which will soon come up in that area. Now, because and thus people will migrate to these areas where they get jobs okay so now because of the huge population what happens the government will have to provide them with different services like education then we have the hospitals then the uh, safety security of the people all these facilities will be taken care of by the government okay so we move on to the next point Example, the North Indian plains of the country, Delhi, Kolkata, Mumbai, Pune, Bangalore, Bangalore, Chennai, Chennai, etc. Desert regions like Rajasthan, which we've just spoken, remote hilly, uh, hilly regions like the Himalayas, dense forest areas like the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, and sparsely populated are sparsely populated because of inaccessibility, absence of facilities, and tough life. Assam and most of the peninsula states have mod moderate population densities. Hilly, dissected and rocky nature of the terrain, moderate to low rainfall, shallow and less fertile soils have all influenced population densities in these areas. Now we'll study the population distribution of Brazil. Now as told, this is uh, the map which shows population uh, distribution with the help of dot method and this is a map which shows density of population with the help of choropleth method. 
Now, we'll, ask, we'll answer the questions asked on page number 39. To start with, they've asked, in which area is population greatly concentrated? Now, population is greatly concentrated. If we refer to the DOT method, it is mostly uh, concentrated in the southeastern parts of Brazil. So we have Sao Paulo here, Rio de Janeiro here. So it's concentrated in the southeastern parts of Brazil. Okay, then the, to move on to the next question, they've asked in which area is the distribution of population sparse, that is less. Now if you go to see, see the dot method. Yeah, we see your population is very less. Yeah, all that is covered in yellow. The population is very less. So the population distribution is sparse in the western okay so if you go to see western this is the western part okay the central part the central part and the northern areas we find less population identify the type of map showing identify the type of map showing distribution so we've already identified i've already told you in figure 6.2a they've used the dot method and in figure 6.2b they have used the choropleth method we now move on to the next question they've asked prepare a note on factors responsible for the uneven distribution of population based on study of brazil okay we have already studied uh, the various factors of like climate physiography of brazil so we have to apply that knowledge okay now this is the application of knowledge that we have studied so far so we'll start with the distribution of population is very uneven in brazil naturally because the physiography of brazil is uneven and hence the climate is also uneven in brazil the density of population is more in the eastern coastal regions due to well-developed agriculture and industries. Naturally, the density of population is more in the coastal areas because of the fertile land. And hence, because of the fertile land, we, lands, we have the agri agriculture is carried out in large proportion here. And because of the agro-based industries, again, we have different industries that come up. On the other hand, the interior in the Amazon basin is very sparsely populated. Unfavorable climate, heavy rainfall, inaccessibility and dense forest are the barriers to development of human settlements here. Therefore, settlements occur only in few places in the Amazon basin. So if you see here, we just have the Manaus here, which is densely populated in the Amazon basin. The southern part has a favorable climate. So if you see the maximum concentration of population is in the southern southeastern part. Why? Because the southern part has favorable climate, abundant rainfall and fertile soil. Hence, the density is very high here. In the Brazilian highlands, the density of population is moderate and less in the central and western parts of Brazil. So this is the Brazilian highland. Okay, so here if we see the population is moderate. Okay, and it is less in the central and the western parts of Brazil. With this children, we have come to an end of our today's presentation on population. Okay, where we have studied the size, density and distribution of population of India and Brazil and we have also compared them. Okay, in our next presentation, we will study the elements of population. Hope you have understood so far. Thank you. Stay home. Stay safe.